I want to show you this. Somebody on the uh, homesteading forum asked about how do I vent well. You can see these little rectangles of wood. They're about, well, they're a little thicker than a pencil. They uh, lift the outer cover up and it allows the air to flow through the top. I left those on all winter. Of course, I had the uh, cedar shaving pillows over the uh, inner cover hole. Yeah. The way to check for American fall brood, I actually learned it on a YouTube video by some professor down in Florida, I believe. Look down on the bottom of the cells, not the back, but the bottom. You hold it at an angle like this, and you look at the bottom of the cells, and you look for scale. And boy, this looks really, really clean. You got some nice pollen and honey built up too. Oh, they're laying drones. This is my drone. You can see them. I don't see any sign of mites. I'm just getting ready to cap them. They're really big. That's a weird pattern for the wax, the combs. I don't know if this is the start of a queen cell or what right here. Empty. We got brood, big time. And uh, we got larvae, uncapped larvae. Oh, look at that. He pulled some of them out though, I wonder why. Or maybe she didn't just lay it all. Lots of pollen. Lots of pollen. Got fresh nectar too coming in big time. This hive is doing good. Well, this is the Illinois queen. I received that queen uh, late in the season last year because this hive went queenless and uh, it was out of that Illinois project. At least that's the way it was uh, presented through uh, one of the internet forums. You can see that these girls aren't doing anything. They're just laying around. So I did check this hive about 10 days ago, and I saw the queen, but I didn't see any eggs. So we're gonna open it up and uh, make our best guess as to what's going on. She built us some drone too. Some drones coming. she is. That's the queen. Got some eggs, larvae. Maybe they'll make some queen cells with this one. So, this is our girl.